Hello and welcome back. When you were in school, did you ever think, why should I learn this math stuff? Because I'll never use it. I know I did. For me, only a few years passed by before I found myself in the military learning advanced electronics. I suddenly wished that I had paid more attention in high school. The same thing is true for learning the metric system. In this lesson and the next, Knowing algebra and the metric system is handy, but if you don't know it, don't worry. I'll show you what you need to know. Are you ready to learn? Well, let's get started. This video is lesson five, part two of my amateur radio technician class license course covering the 2022 to 2026 question pool. I'm Gary Stevens, your instructor. I've been an amateur radio operator since 2001. In 2014, I earned my amateur extra license and I've been teaching amateur radio for over 15 years now. My call sign is Kilo Echo 2 Gulf Sierra. The T5 section covers electrical principles. On your random generated test, you will be asked four questions from this sub-element. There are four groups in this section with 52 questions total. This lesson covers T5B, Math for Electronics, Conversion of Electrical Units and Decibels. Perhaps it is easier to ask the question of who does not use the metric system rather than who does. The entire world uses the uh, metric system except for three countries, the United States, Liberia, and Myanmar who all use the imperial measurement system. The metric system is a measurement developed by scientists and used uh, in most countries of the world. This system uses a set of prefixes that are multiples of 10 and indicate quantities larger or smaller than the basic unit. Uh, some of the metric uh, prefixes uh, for this exam are G for giga, which is uh, 10 to the ninth power, uh, M for capital M for mega, which is 10 to the sixth power, K for kilo, which is 10 to the third power, M for little m for milla, which is uh, 10 to the minus third power, a mu symbol for micro, which is 10 to the minus sixth power, N for nano, which is 10 to the minus ninth power, and P for pico, which is 10 to the minus 12th power. Here's a conversion chart that may make it easier for you. While you can't take it with you for your exam, I recommend that you memorize it and draw it on a piece of scrap paper uh, you can get when you take the exam. Let's practice using this chart. Say we need to move the decimal six places to the right that allows us to convert from our base unit to micro units. In this slide, we are changing from micro units to units because we are moving the decimal six places to the left. We need to know that 1.5 amperes is the same as 1500 milliamperes. To convert 1.5 amperes to milliamperes, just move the decimal place three places to the right. Once you do so, you can clearly see that 1.5 amperes is equal to 1500 milliamperes. The associated question is, how many milliamperes is 1.5 amperes? A, 15 milliamperes. B, 150 milliamperes. C, 1500 milliamperes, or D, 15,000 milliamperes? The correct answer being C, 1500 milliamperes. We should know that 1,500,000 hertz is equal to 1500 kilohertz. To convert hertz to kilohertz, simply move the decimal to the left three places which are unit to kilo. Doing so converts hertz to kilohertz, leaving us with the answer of 1500 kilohertz. 
The exam question looks similar to this, which is equal to 1,500,000 Hertz, A, 1500 kilohertz, B, 1500 megahertz, C, 15 gigahertz, or D, 150 kilohertz? The correct answer is A, 1500 kilohertz. Know that one kilovolt is equal to 1000 volts. To convert kilovolts to volts, simply move the decimal place to the right three times or three places. If we do so, we can see that 1000 volts is the same as one kilovolt. The test question looks like this, which is equal to one kilovolt? A, one one thousandth of a volt, <clears throat> B, one hundredth of a volt, C, one thousand volts, or D, one million volts. Did you get the correct answer? It's C, one thousand volts. We should know that one millionth of a volt is equal to a microvolt. To convert microvolts to volts, simply move the decimal to the left six places. When we do that, we need to add zeros. As you can see, the result of our conversion is 0 0.000001 volts, or one millionth of a volt. On your exam, you might see this question, which is equal to one microvolt? A, one one millionth of a volt. B, one million volts. C, 1,000 kilovolts. Or D, one thousandth of a volt. The answer, of course, is A, one one millionth of a volt. Understand that 0.5 watts is equal to 500 milliwatts. To convert milliwatts to watts, simply move the decimal to the left three places. We start off with 500 milliwatts. When we move the decimal place to the left, we come up with 0.5 watts. Okay, the question might be this. Which is equal to 500 milliwatts? A, 0 0.02 watts, B, 0 0.5 watts, C, 5 watts, or D, 50 watts. The answer being B, 0 0.5 watts. We should know that 3 amperes is equal to 3,000 milliamperes. To convert milliamperes to amperes, simply move the decimal to the left three places. Our test question is, which is equal to 3,000 milliamperes? A, 0 0.003 amperes. B, 0 0.3 amperes. C, 3 million amperes. Or D, 3 amperes. The correct answer being D, three amperes. Understand that 3525 kilohertz is equal to 3.525 megahertz. To convert megahertz to kilohertz, simply move the decimal to the right three places. The exam question looks like this, which is equal to 3.525 megahertz. A, 0 0.003525 kilohertz, B, 35.25 kilohertz, C, 3525 kilohertz, or D, 3,525,000 kilohertz. The correct answer, as we know, is C, 3525 kilohertz. Know that one microfarad is equal to one million picofarads. To convert picofarads to microfarads, simply move the decimal to the left six places. The question you can see on the exam is this, which is equal to a million picofarads? A, 0 0.01 microfarads, B, one microfarad, C, 1,000 microfarads, 
or D, 1 billion microfarads? The correct answer is B, 1 microfarad. For the exam, we need to understand decibels. What are decibels? A unit used to measure the intensity of a sound or the power level of an electrical signal by comparing it to a given level on a logarithmic scale is what we call a decibel. It's also a degree of loudness. Working with decibels is really easy, especially if you just memorize the following. A 3 dB increase is two times the power. A 3 dB decrease is half of the power. A 10 decibel increase is 10 times the power, and a 10 decibel decrease is one tenth the power. We should know that 3 dB is a decibel value that most closely represents a power increase from five to 10 watts. We know that if we have a power increase from five watts to 10 watts, that we have two times the power. We also know that three decibels or three dB increase is the equivalent of two times the power. A related exam question is this, which decibel value most closely represents a power increase from 5 watts to 10 watts? A, 2 dB, B, 3 dB, C, 5 dB, or D, 10 dB? The correct answer is, of course, B, 3 dB. We should know that a minus 6 decibel value most, clear, most closely represents a value decrease from 12 to 3 watts. Let's examine this. If we have a decrease in power from 12 watts to 3 watts, we know that a 3 dB decrease is half the power. So one half of 12 is 6, which is a 3 dB decrease, and one half of 6 is 3, which is another 3 dB decrease. That means we have a power decrease of minus 6 dB. We get this from adding the 3 dB to 3 dB, and we get 6, and we know it's a decrease, so it has to be minus. On the exam, the question is, which decibel value most closely represents a power decrease from 12 watts to 3 watts? A, minus 1 dB, B, minus 3 dB, C, minus 6 dB, or D, minus 9 dB? The correct answer is C minus 6 dB. We need to know that a 10 dB decibel value represents a power increase from 20 watts to 200 watts. We have memorized that a 10 dB increase is 10 times the power. We can find our increase by dividing 200 watts by 20 watts. This gives us an increase of 10 times the power. Therefore, there is a 10 decibel increase in power. Our exam question is this. Which decibel value represents a power increase from 20 watts to 200 watts? A, 10 dB, B, 12 dB, C, 18 dB, or D, 28 dB? The answer, as we know, is A, 10 decibels, or 10 dB. We need to know that 28,400 kilohertz is equal to 28.400 megahertz. To convert kilohertz to megahertz, we simply move the decibel three places to the left. The exam question looks like this. Which is equal to 28,400 kilohertz? A. 28.400 kilohertz, B, 2.800 megahertz, C, 284.00 megahertz, or D, 28.400 megahertz. The correct answer is D, 28.4 megahertz. We need to know that 2425 megahertz 
Hertz is equal to 2.425 gigahertz. To convert megahertz to gigahertz, we simply move the decimal to the left three places. The exam question is, which is equal to 2425 megahertz? A, 0 0.002425 gigahertz. B, 24.25 gigahertz. C, 2.425 gigahertz. Or D, 2425 gigahertz. The correct answer is C, 2.425 gigahertz. This is the end of lesson five, part two. I hope you found this lesson useful in preparing yourself for the FCC exam. This should help you greatly as we learn more about electronics and electrical circuits. Until next time, my friends, never stop learning.